Hello, we fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed and upgraded today, ThinkPad W540 with 8 gigabytes of RAM memory. Uh, what else we got here? i7 4900MQ CPU. Is it charged? I think it's fully charged. And we will upgrade the RAM to 32 gigabytes. What I'm going to do initially is take the hard disk off, which I don't know where it's located, but I'm sure we'll quickly find it. And we'll need a screwdriver. Try to do everything live, so if something's, something goes bad, you can uh, you can draw your conclusions. So watch the video to the end because I don't know. I had I had a once hard drive blow up when I was replacing the RAM memory on a HP laptop. There we go. That's the that's the hard disk here. So how it's supposed to go out like this? Okay. Now we have these two sitting on the side. These are the chips. What is it? Samsung 4 gigabytes. And we have one more. Samsung 4 gigabytes. Now I'll bring the other RAM. Okay, so that's the memory I'm going to use. It's uh, SP. 1.35 volts DDR3L 8 gigabytes 1600 megahertz is there an easy way to open maybe I just don't know <laughs> I just don't know it we're in the kitchen so we'll figure it out uh, memory was very cheap actually was around 12 euros 16 dollars at the moment something like that so I just pull it out I'll put one stick in yeah just here and we'll try to power up without a hard disk So you can see 8 gigabytes, that's perfect. Let's put the second one in. I think this way is good enough. Good. See, it's nice and solid. Let's power up again. I'm a bit worried about that hard drive, I'll tell you that. <coughs> Sixteen gigabytes, okay.
one on this side this is the original slot slot it was here in the first run memory does it fit okay I think it does yeah no it seems a bit to the side let's try let's try again is it all the way Uh, it seems it seems better now. I don't know, it seems a bit angled. Again. <coughs> there is a quicker way to enter the boot menu on the ThinkPad I'll show now. <coughs> I don't I don't think if it matters but we'll see. For the next video we'll definitely upgrade with an SSD. I just don't have the time now to bother with it. Press enter and go F1. That's a lot of RAM for this laptop. Very good. Let's continue. One more and we're done. Got a lifetime warranty on the run. I only had one uh, run failed once, like 15 years ago. But I've seen videos of, of failed run, definitely. Good. Now, to enter the boot menu straight away, press F1. Press the power button, hold F1. Hold F1 till you see here. Entering setup or something similar, it was. It takes a little bit of time for the first boot up, definitely. It, it was uh, starting up a lot quicker before. I didn't have time to, to talk, so by the time you press the button and it was already started. See how much time it takes? Oh, press enter. Oh, I forgot. Uh, F1. No, it's. Why is booting? No, don't boot. <laughs> yeah. F1. It doesn't have no booting. F1. No. Maybe it won't function. In F1. Yeah, there we go. 32 gigabytes. So uh, <coughs> we're done with the upgrade. Let's see now. I'll put the. This is what is using, made in China, 27th of June 2014, is that 14? Yeah, whoa. What is it? What brand is that? HGST brand? I never heard of that. Maybe it's like, I don't know, half a gigabyte. Nothing really. So you can put a upgrade of uh, SSD here, here, and you can have one on the disk. I'm still using the disk though, so to be just here. It's missing a screw right there. I don't think it's a big deal though. How much time it takes? 10 minutes to upgrade the RAM? 15? Most? Very quick, I think. Cross your fingers now. If 
something is about to get bad, now is the moment. breathing out there. We're definitely not gonna feel the speed of SSD. It's very nice when you upgrade the SSD and you're like amazed from the speed of because of the speed difference. Yeah very good. I think uh, I'm not gonna show you the screen. I don't know if it boots up straight away, I think it boots up straight away. But yeah, that's how to have the RAM upgraded on a ThinkPad W540. Very easy. I hope the video has been helpful to you, it starts up fine. Um, very interesting, does it uh, see when you go to settings? Maybe. This is a Windows 7 64-bit system so if you want you can just give me a second until it boots up what is it what do i need to press manage or properties maybe properties on my computer what it was yeah it says 32 gigabytes 31.6 usable i don't know if you can manage to see it but right there in the corner 32 gigabytes zoom in it with your fingers that's it i hope the video has been helpful to you like subscribe leave me a comment and i'll see you on the next one bye bye